I like cats. Do you, the viewer, like cats? Well, I'm not talking about this kind of cat. Or this cat. I'm talking about a black panther. Well, technically all panthers are black, so this is a little redundant. I mean, unless you're talking about the difference between albino and- Anyway, Black Panther! Black Panther is a Marvel Studios produced film that came out on February 16th, 2018 in United States theaters. The director and writer is Ryan Coogler, who has directed films such as Creed and Fruitvale Station. The majority of his films have an impact on the African American society by showing themes of racial tension and supporting accomplishments of African Americans. His films also star some very critically acclaimed actors and actresses. Michael B. Jordan has starred in Coogler's Creed, Fruitvale Station, and recently Black Panther. This is his first film as an antagonist with protagonistic intentions. And I have to say, he does it very, very, very well. The bond that Coogler and Jordan have make it easier for Jordan to understand what Coogler wants from his character, Eric Killmonger. The acting is phenomenal, and the blockbuster film is full of amazing symbolism, fantastic costume design, and themes of female as well as African-American empowerment. But there is room for improvement when concerning a couple different aspects of this film. First of all, breaking through the gate, the director of photography, Rachel Morrison, did an amazing job with setting up shots in terms of vibrant colors that were not overpowering to the eye. She also set the landscape to show the beautiful scenery of Wakanda. But maybe that was lost in transitions. Some scenes depict settings with dark palettes and brilliant lighting to make the colors pop, but transitions left me a little blinded. There were too many moments when the scene would be dark, and then it would immediately pop into a rushing waterfall of white light, in colors that reflect that light even more. Visuals aside, the writing had its fair share of rough patches. My main concern is with the antagonist change in the middle of the film. Andy Serkis' character, Ulysses Klau, had a large part in the Avengers Age of Ultron, with the task of finding and distributing weapons, as well as vibranium. Unfortunately, his character goes through a large portion of the film as the main villain with the casino and chase scene, only to be killed off in a sequence lasting a minute or so by one of his goons. This is where Killmonger presents himself as the real villain, and the audience is supposed to accept this wholeheartedly. I'm just saying that they could have done this more effectively, or not at all. Besides, I kind of liked Klau, but that's probably because I have a soft spot for Golem. Finally, I'll stop harping and say that it was... uninteresting. Let me explain. The whole aspect of Wakanda and the integration of different black cultures and the bond of family is amazing and valuable, but the emotions in each scene were hard to understand. They were not carried through the best. I understand that people have said that this film does not demonstrate the funny formula that Marvel holds so dearly to their hearts. But it really does. What's even worse is that the jokes presented in the film were not funny. They were awkward and tended to drag on a bit. So good to have you back with us. Take her to the river province to prepare her for the ceremony. Yes, General. Did he freeze? Like an antelope in headlights. <laughs> it were pauses and awkward interruptions like these that caused the movie to die in scenes that needed the energy to carry through. I would have loved if the movie didn't have any comedy at all. In fact, if it didn't have any comedy, I wouldn't have been as uninterested. And it could have caused me to try and anticipate the next scene with eagerness. I guess it's time for me to finish my compliment sandwich now. Yeah? Okay. This movie honestly deserves an 8 out of 10. Through message, it deserves the majority of that. And the components of actors, design, and directing push it the rest of the way. Every movie has at least minor mess-ups and deserves to learn from them. The perception of different movies from the audience is subjective, but film criticism follows basic editing and production intuition. If a story has plot holes, then the story isn't good. If there are jump cuts, then the video is lacking. This is merely what I did with Black Panther. I hope people can see the flaws in movies and judge them on those rather than stamping a good or bad on them. I hope you can agree or disagree with my points because that is the only way to make art better. Now, maybe you can go and watch your favorite movie and tell me what you find in the comments below.